Hello, my name is Jeremy with Activate, and this video is going to go over the sales list. Activate shows an easy to read list of sales orders by utilizing the left navigation sales menu. To begin a search within the sales list, start typing in the search by name or details field just below the selected filter. Lookup will begin performing a global search based on what you're typing to give the best match as results. For each sales order shown in the sales list as a match, the user can quickly see the order number in bold letters with the order status to the right. If the order has an associated company name, you'll see it listed directly below the order number. Orders which have overdue shipping dates listed will show the text late in red below the status. Select the order you wish to review within the sales list to see more details in the read-only window to the right of the list. The order number and customer ID show above the edit, copy, print, email and create buttons. Edit opens the inner sales order window in the edit mode for the user to update the order. Copy creates a copy of the selected sales order. Print prints the default order form for the selected customer. Email opens the email order window with the default order form attached as a PDF and utilizes default email message template. The create menu allows you to create documents such as a credit memo, a dropship PO, a special order PO, an assembly session, a business activity, or a note. The main body of the read-only sales order window shows the sales order and timeline tabs, as well as custom for when custom fields exist. On the right-hand side, users can see pertinent information such as linked customer record, status of order, workflow status with updated timestamp, and user, date entered, contact and shipping information such as ship via, FOB, and requested ship date. The sales order tab shows the bill to and ship to addresses as well as the other details and any shipping or special instructions listed on the order. If there are lot serial numbers selected on the order or drop ship special order purchase orders, you'll see those details below the related lines on the order. Within the order details, users can easily see what's ordered, scheduled to be shipped, back ordered, and outstanding. They'll also see the price with the price unit, line amount, and whether the line is taxable or not. The timeline shows all linked activities related to the customer. Users filter on specific types of activities by clicking the drop down menu. Additional filtering capability exists in the look for box next to the type filter. Begin typing some value to search in the timeline for specific information. Activate will automatically start populating the data as you type. Business activities. Any business activity with a selected customer listed as a related item. Invoices. Sales invoices related to the selected sales order. Notes and emails. Notes linked to the selected order as well as any emails sent from the order itself. And shipments. Information displayed on the packages tab of the sales order. This includes shipments from packaging manager, and any integrated shipping workstation application. While viewing the timeline, moving the mouse over each activity prompts certain actions. Hovering over any activity created in Activate, which has edit capabilities, will show a pencil icon where the activity icon appears. Anything appearing with a hyperlink will open the related read-only window. When clicking a linked invoice number, Activate opens the related invoice in a read-only window for review. The same function exists on all hyperlinked text. When utilizing sales order custom fields, you'll also see the custom tab. This tab will show all custom field data entered on the additional information tab of the sales order. That's all we have for today. Thanks and have a great day.